Hello friends, in this video we are studying production engineering, machining process, objective questions and answers. This is part 1. So let's start. So before let me explain the tools we are using for the machining process. The tool used here is cutting tool back turning tool grooving tool front turning that we can see it here and grooving is here back turning and cutting off and for threading and boring tool and similarly these are the some lathe operations pacing taper turning counter turning form turning chamfering cut off threading boring drilling and parts of twist drill so here there are two types of shank in the drill one is taper shank and another is straight shank and this length is shank length so in coming to plute length the twisted beam is called as plutes and the angle formed by the helix is called helix angle and this angle is relief angle what is the material removal rate MRR in millimeter cube per minute in drilling with 18 mm drill that means diameter of the drill is 18 mm that is D and feed of 0 0.1 millimeter per revolution that means feed is equal F is equal to 0 0.1 mm per revolution and spindle speed is or spindle running at 600 rpm n is 600 rpm so we have given d feed and speed so we need to find the material removal rate out of these four options which one is correct so for drilling concern we have material removal rate is equal to 5 by 4 d square f into n we know already d is diameter of drill bit f is speed and n is the speed of spindle so once we put it in this we get the value of this much so by this we can conclude that option a is correct option consider the following statements plutes are made in drill to guide the chips upwards to enable the cutting fluid to reach the cutting edges to break the chips so here you can see the flutes these are called as flutes and the question is why these flutes are made so the flutes are made to guide the chips upwards and to enable the cutting fluid to reach the cutting edges and this option is wrong to break the chips there is no application of fluids to break the chips therefore option 3 is wrong we get option 1 and 2 are correct 
क्लाइम मिलिंग इज चूजन वाइल्ड मशीनिंग बिकॉज द चिप थिकनेस इंक्रीजेस ग्रेजुअली द स्पेसिफिक पावर कंजम्पन इज रेड्यूस्ड बैटरी सरफेस फिनिश कैन बी ऑप्टेंट सो हियर द क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट क्लाइम मिलिंग सो हियर वी कैन सी बोथ क्लाइम मिलिंग एंड अप मिलिंग सो क्लाइम मिलिंग इज ऑल्सो कॉन्ड एज डाउन मिलिंग एंड अप मिलिंग इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज कन्वेंशनल मिलिंग सो हियर द क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट क्लाइम मिलिंग सो हियर इन क्लाइम मिलिंग वी हैव सम एडवांटेजेस एज कंपेर्ड विथ अप मिलिंग और कन्वेंशनल मिलिंग एंड द क्लाइम मिलिंग इज मोस्ट प्रिपेर्ड वन बिकॉज ऑफ कटर टेंस टू पुश द वर्क पीस अगेनेस्ट द मिलिंग टेबल इन डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन देर बाय इंक्रीजेस स्टेबिलिटी स्टेबिलिटी इन द क्लाइम मिलिंग इज गुड इन सेकेंड कटर हैज इंक्रीज टू लाइफ एज कंपेर्ड टू अप मिलिंग बिकॉज ऑफ हायर वैल्यूज ऑफ रेक एंगल इन क्लाइम मिलिंग द कटर हैज गुड टू लाइफ एंड स्पेसिफिक पावर कंजम्पन इज लो इन क्लाइम मिलिंग सो हियर बाय दिस वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट ऑप्शन बिकॉज इट इज अबाउट स्पेसिफिक पावर कंजम्पन इज रेड्यूस्ड whereas there is no concern with chip thickness increases gradually it doesn't provide any such technical support to choose the climb milling therefore option b is correct option what is the approach length for face milling where d is cutter diameter and small d is depth of cut so we have four options so for approach length for face milling we have a is equal to square root of small d bracket of capital d minus small d for slab milling and for face milling we have a equal to d by 2 therefore option a is correct option which of the following is an example of orthogonal cutting shaping turning drilling and milling so before that we need to know what is orthogonal cutting in orthogonal cutting the cutting tool is at an angle of 90 degree whereas in oblique cutting the cutting tool is in with certain inclination so we have orthogonal and oblique cutting orthogonal cutting i repeat once again the cutting tool is at an angle of 90 degree whereas in oblique cutting it is inclined so here the question is which of the following is an example of orthogonal cutting that means they are asking in which out of these options we are holding that tool at an angle of 90 degree so here in the turning operation the cutting tool is at an angle of 90 degree therefore option b is correct option the cutting tool that performs orthogonal cutting is twist drill broach halkal milling cutter single point point cutting tool for turning so the question is the cutting tool that performs orthogonal cutting is so we have to answer which out of this is 
correct option. So let me go with the twist drill. This is the twist drill and here we know that orthogonal cutting the tool is at an angle of 90 degree with the workpiece. So here we can judge that it is not 90 degree therefore this is wrong option whereas in broach that is here the tool is making at an angle of 90 degree with the workpiece. Coming to option C Halkel milling cutter that we can see here in Halkel milling cutter also it is not 90 degree and in single point cutting tool this is also not 90 degree therefore we can conclude that option B that is approach is correct option. For cutting of brass with single point cutting tool on lathe tool should have negative rake angle positive rake angle zero rake angle or zero side relief angle so question is cutting of brass with single point cutting tool on lathe so here brass is an hard and ductile material so we are cutting a ductile material on the lathe and we are using single point cutting tool so in this condition what is the rake angle of the single point cutting tool negative positive 0 or 0 side relief angle so here we can see the rake angle in this diagram it is in first two side now we can tell that tool is with first two rake angle when the tool is in this position it is negative rake angle and tool is in vertical line it is zero rake angle so for cutting high strength material like brass the rake angle used is 0 therefore option C is correct option gear shaping is a process of manufacturing gears which one of the following principles is employed by it form cutting generating tooth form with a reciprocating cutter generating tooth form by a rotating cutter generation form with a reciprocating and revolving cutter so here option b is correct option because generation of tooth form with the reciprocating cutter is used in gear shape size of a shaper depends on size of a shaper depends on stroke length motor power weight of the machine table size so this is the shaper machine which removes the material with some tool and the question is how does the size of shaper is dependent on so the size of the shaper machine is dependent on stroke length the length what it takes during the stroke that determines the size of the shaper that is option a is correct option in the shaping operation the average cutting speed is what we need to answer 
what is the formula for average cutting speed in the shaping operation so here s is stroke length n is number of stroke per minute and r is rotation so we have four different equations so out of this option d is correct option average cutting speed is ns into 1 plus r divided by 2 so this is the formula to find the average cutting speed in the shaping operation if you have any questions or comments text in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe because subscription is free and also you get the notification of upcoming videos and please like and share thank you